welcome to Optimal Play. <laughs> I'm here again with my friends Ryan, Ryan, and Jen. And today we're going to play Magic Maze. So this is a game that's been out for a little while, recently got an expansion, which we are not playing with. So that's useful information. Um, none of these guys know how to play this, so we're going to explain the whole thing right now. It should only, <laughs> should only take a moment. <laughs> All right. So, in this game, there's a party of adventurers. Uh, they have some pressing need to go out on an adventure. Um, you can have a story ready for next time we play this <laughs> for a while. Should have stayed Unfortunately, home. they don't have their weapons and other goods that they need. Um, so, they go to the mall. <laughs> Literally, this game is set in a shopping mall. They also don't have any money, so they are going to steal weapons from the mall. These so, are heroes? These are heroes. Mm. They just have more important things to worry about than currency. Like, Must be nice. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this game takes place in real time. It's going to take about no more than 10 minutes per round. Um, it's real simple. You can see that there are four characters on here. The purple one is the mage, obviously. The yellow is the barbarian. The green is the elf. And the orange is the dwarf. It does do an old school summer races, summer classes yes. to system. Yeah. D and D rules Soclopedia days. <laughs> right, right. So, um, in real time, our goal is to get each of these characters to their item in the mall. It's their matching color, this lit up square here. So we're trying to get the mage to its to her bottle, trying to get the dwarf to her axe, and so on. Uh, what we need to actually do is get them there all at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then we're trying to get them out the exit, which for now we're on the easiest difficulty. There's one exit, it's right here. Later on we might add more exits to them all. Um, in real time, we're not taking turns, we can move them freely. Ryan, you can move any pawn you want. Um, we are just trying to work together to quickly and efficiently get them to their items at the same time and then get them out the door. A few things going on on the board. Um, these magnifying glass spaces, when a hero gets to its matching magnifying glass, then the uh, then we can draw a new tile and put it there. So if we get the barbarian to this yellow magnifying glass, then we get to draw a tile, it has an arrow on it, and that's what's going to connect there and add to them all. So we're going to start with only the center tile on the table, and we'll have to find where their items are and where the exit is so that we can pull off everything else we need to do. There are also vortexes out here. Um, at any time, a character can be pulled to its color vortex from anywhere. It, can, it doesn't matter where it is, it can just be pulled to its vortex. Until we've gotten all the items by having them all on their item location at the same time, then we're going to flip over this little reminder and the vortex is no longer work mm -hmm. when we're heading for the exits. Um, that is literally about it, but there's a couple catches. So it sounds really easy, right? Um, Does it? Jen, like I said, we're not taking turns. Okay. You can move any pawn you want at any time. Okay. North, by the way, is this way. There's a little marker here. The, your first catch is, Jen, you can only move pawns north. Okay. That's a reminder that you can move pawns whenever you want and lay it on the table so that it's pointing oh. so that north is this way okay. Okay. as a reminder that you can only move pawns to the north. Ryan, you can numbers. only move pawns to the south. Those are little indicators for the number of players. Mm -hmm. If we use, if we had eight players, for example, we would set we used a different set of tiles. Great. Uh, Ryan, you can move pawns to the south, and also it's your job and only your job to add tiles to the board when ah. we get a pawn to its magnifying glass. Excellent. I will be moving pawns to the east, and also there are these escalators on there. I am the only one who can move one pawn from one end of the escalator to the other. Uh, well, no you matter, can only no, move east. Uh, and I can only move east. Um, the Ellis escalators are the exception. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it doesn't matter which direction like, the escalators uh, are facing. That's me. Ryan. You can move to the west towards you. Also, you are the only one who can do what I talked about, pulling characters to vortexes. So that's at any time you can bring a character to its own vortex until they have their items and you turn off the vortexes. This even has a handy X'd out backside if you want to flip that over as a reminder. Um, Why would I want to pull characters to vortexes? As a way of if the barbarian is way over here and we want to get it to his item, it's a quick shortcut to get it quite a bit closer. Um, there's another catch. But he can't leave his vortex after he's there, so how does he get his item? He can leave his, oh, vortex. He can leave his vortex. Okay. Yeah, he just moves normally from it. Um, so that's one catch. The one other catch is we play this game in silence. We may not speak. Can we mime? No, you cannot communicate. There is exactly one method of communication 
allowed, and that is we can all move this pawn around the table. You may put this pawn in front of someone if you are angry at them. If Jen is missing that obvious move that we all need her to make, oh, we put God. this pawn in front of her. That is the only <laughs> communication. Just leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> that is the only communication. Um, the, there's one more time that we can actually speak, and that is whenever, so we have this hourglass, it's three minutes long. If, if this ever runs out, we lose. But if we move any pawn onto one of these hourglasses, flip we flip it over, which if it was mostly out, that means we gain time. We don't want to do it too early or we'll lose time. And also in that moment, we can speak for as long as we want. We can strategize, we can discuss what we're going to do. As soon as anyone touches the board and starts moving it, we go back to silence until the next hourglass. Does that make sense? Sure. Also, we have these little these little out of order markers. We can only use each hourglass once. We will mark it as used. So wait, so we, in the moment that we flip the thing over, the time is still ticking down. Yes. But we can talk at that. But we can talk until we decide we're done talking. Back to action. Got it. But time will be flowing that whole time. That, okay. Yep. Uh, that's the game of Magic Maze. So we are going to get rid of everything but this starting tile. Ready to give it a shot? Uh, ready as a lab. Made this guy big red. Big red. It doesn't really matter if he has a name though, you can't say it. In my head I'll say oh, it. Can the pods move through each other? No. Good question. They cannot. They block each other entirely and cannot be on the same space either. And if doors lead to walls, they just don't. Uh correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. You will So we're all this. just like free from like like it's like a pandemonium. I just I just screwed up. Like Sorry. I could just be like these are for later. Like, we don't do this yet. right now? You could literally do this, this, um, this, and this. Yep. And that's it. Okay, pandemonium is a good word for it. You can do that. Okay. Remember that you want, uh, as far as exploring, you want them to be on the matching color. Oh, yes. So you want to get the purple one over here, which you alone can't do. No, I cannot. No. How did you decide what order all these? Uh, it's random. Okay. You just take them and put them there. Okay. Because okay. it would be more convenient if it was like Yeah. This. It would be more convenient, but... But no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Okay. No, it's okay. They were like this. Okay. However they were. Okay. okay. You guys ready to give it a try? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Here we go. Vortex. He's good. It could be any color? Uh, it has to go to its own color. Oh! Yeah. Okay. All right. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh. Is that what you wanted? No. Well, now we're now we hourglass. No. Yeah, we can talk. To, don't touch. All right. You so, need to move that yellow one what? toward the yellow weapon. We, How? No, it's Brandon. Brandon. Needs Brandon. To do it. Oh, towards the weapon. No, we need to keep exploring. We don't have all the weapons on the board yet. 
So we need to move, we, the focus needs to be getting like the orange to the magnifying glasses and the green to the magnifying glass and the purple to that one. Yellow's got nothing to do. Okay. <laughs> we gotta find the purple. Disagree. We gotta we're, not, we're not really ready to pick up the item until we like use green to explore way over there. So vortexes can help with that. Vortexes, can we move? We've, well, now that you've moved, now we're you... done talking. <laughs> Time's up. I don't see the time. It's right here. No. We need to keep. I, I was trying to get you to move this out of here so we could get it. To what are you all saying? <laughs> I think we. It's like a quiet place. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I we got our, it this time. I, I, I saw this, this and thought it was uh, a the purple search. Yeah. Oh no, that's the exit. We need to like yeah. keep okay. searching. What are we doing? All right, all right. All right, so first we get the pawns to the weapons. Yeah. But we have to, we have to search find all the weapons. weapons. And we have to keep the time going while we do it. Yes. 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 We find all the weapons, we get the pawns to all the weapons, then we get out? Then we get out. Are um, the pawns locked after they hit a weapon? No. 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 They can leave. We basically, in that one, we got to a situation where we got orange and green to their weapons and stopped really care, like, kind of ignored them, but most of the exploring was orange and green over here, so we got them there too early. We needed to use we them to explore. We need to, to like, wait to But, like, if we touch the weapon and then more. keep moving them, does that count? No, it doesn't count. Oh, they all have to be touching. They all have to be simultaneously, reaction. yeah. Okay. And that's when we'll, like, flip this so over the to the priority like, is next, exploring next before hitting yes. the weapon. Yes, there's, there's like... kind of three, per, three goals, even though the exploring is not, like, doesn't have a defined ending. It's explore, then weapons, then... I did not appreciate this at all. <laughs> 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 well, if you would just do the right things, you wouldn't get it. The best is to take it and then give it right back to the person. <laughs> I am also mad at you. <laughs> All right. Shall we try it again? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's just keep the same jobs. Yeah, don't mess with that. <laughs> Here are your tiles. You. And any last uh, no. questions or anything? Okay, then time starts now.
<laughs> okay, we're on an hourglass. Nice job. Oh, I had this guy waiting right here for the hourglass to. Oh, well. Flip it. You got to flip it. Thank you. Yeah, this guy was just chilling, waiting for the hourglass to. I know. That's why. <laughs> It took me so I was like, what do you want? I wanted you to, yeah, get there. And now we need to get the yellow over here to explore. And or the orange over here. Don't think about vortex. Yes. Yeah. You can yeah. get the orange like two thirds of the way there with a quick jump. Also, he or can't do almost anything to there. this one. Yeah. I agree. That's <laughs> <laughs> why so I don't understand. Uh, you could also go here. Can I share spots? Oh, why don't we? No. We could also take him and put him here and yeah. then get him up. That would be faster. Oh, yeah. Because then he has to go all the way around. Yeah, oh, well, there, there's an explorer there. Oh, we just have to move this guy. Okay, so let's try to get yellow and orange both over to there. Alright, is that okay. the plan? Alright. Yep. Uh, as soon as we start, go ahead. Oh, right, the first thing you gotta move the screen. Get it out of the way. You can't undo it. You just gotta right. hope he gets it figured out. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, don't pay no attention to the wrong tile that I put in this mix. That mm -hmm. should be the one. So we need to vortex <laughs> here and purple here. Yeah, so don't there. forget about the vortexes. Please. They are extremely important. I don't see um, the benefit of that. <laughs> because, 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 Ryan, we need to get purple here. That is most of the way there. <laughs> and, and orange orange needs to go I'm here. I'm just trying to get purple to the <laughs> Yeah, it that's not a thing. We've already explored that. Right. Right. We just gotta get everything to the weapons now. <laughs> Okay, we gotta get to the weapons, and then remember, once we have the weapons, we gotta go to the exits. We don't, we don't get to stop and talk about it. So just a, the, a reminder: are they, are they, this is the exit. That's the only exit. Okay. okay. Are we ready? Yeah. You know what we need to do? <sighs> well, vortex. Okay. <laughs> go start where the vortex is in. Get everything cl the closest you can to where their weapon is. Okay.
Time. Sean, you can move every pond! Yeah, but nowhere near where they were going! Oh, this is the exit! They're going here, so this green one, when you moved at one space, we needed you to keep going. They could go out any oh, exit? Boom, boom, boom. There's, There's only one exit, it's oh, that one. I was, I was like, okay, the purple exit's I real, yeah, there. I realize it's purple, that's and then because... I was like, okay. where you know, are all the other colors you, exit? You raise I'm a good point, so alright. We're just gonna play one more round, but let's add the other exits for fun. So... <laughs> Because we failed twice at the tutorial, we might as well we might as well play the next level. Like, I can't. I don't know so, where to go. This is all that's changing for our, for our last play. We're shuffling these three into the deck, and so you can see there's a green exit, an orange exit, and a yellow exit. I understand they that. They all have to go to their own exit. I can actually see how see, seeing a clearly like purple exit could mm. be a little bit distracting. Brandon showed in the tutorial the purple exit, so I always knew. <laughs> well, well, well. Aren't you just so smart? Uh, same same jobs or switch jobs? No, same jobs. <laughs> same jobs. I, I just finally confused. started hitting my stride. All right, randomly throw them out there. Turn your vortexes back on. So we're going to the weapons first. Well, so we're first we're going to the magnifying glasses to explore. Sure we okay. have all Don't of confuse the me. I'm looking for weapons. Okay. And if I search on the way, great. <laughs> that sounds like a beautiful look outlook on life. Okay, you guys, we gotta get win one in here. Okay, go. Okay. Oh, to the <laughs> Oh, good looking yeah. out. All right. Woof. Okay. So what do you want from me? <laughs> we, we, we want you to get. We want you to get the characters, the matching color explore icon. That's what I did. But it's that yellow was here. <laughs> this one was here for like an hour and a half. He stay it forever. He needs to go this way and then. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. God. We still need you to move so that one. Funny. Actually, not anymore. Because I was gonna say that. why. All right. So no, not anymore. So the next thing that we need to do right now is because the yellow guy needs to go here. Purple guy needs to go here. So and need, the green guy needs to go here. Yeah. So really we need vortexes to get us as close as we can. Like the purple is close enough, but green, you could get it here so it's close there. 
and orange could go yellow could go. get could get as close as possible to this. Yes, yeah, so probably this one. So as usual, when we come out of the break, start with a few vortexes. Okay. All right. Sure. Do you understand? I think it's just as fast to just move them without the vortexes than to I wave will. this around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's let's get started. <laughs> I want it on the record that we are under the influence of nothing. <laughs> you, just joy. If you're watching this video, you just witnessed our legitimate best selves attempting this game. <laughs> so. It was harder with the extra exits. Yeah. We were never. Whatever we got to the point. Right? <laughs> so because then there's more tiles to We were control. never going to get out. We were never, we were never going to All right, let's mix up the job. So, well, <laughs> for this time. I want Jen's nothing job. <laughs> maybe next time. We're going to call it there for now. We will definitely come back to this and redeem ourselves. We did not play optimally. We did not. I did. Well, no, yeah, actually, Jen, Jen was pretty much shy. I had no, I had no idea. Also, you still did not. See most of the movies. Um, I saw a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All you did was go. <laughs> I'd just like to point out not a single pun moved south right now. <laughs> <laughs> there is south as we can Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> this is a fun game. It is a fun game. We'll definitely Very play it silly. again. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> Until next time, be optimal. <laughs> Bye. Better than us. <laughs> Uh, all right, that was fun. That was a joy. <laughs> Truly wonderful game. <laughs>